everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is Polish man disappeared. So the question that was sent to me and this was sent via email, it says, how are you? Could you please help to locate the missing Polish man, Michael Kozak, lost in Madeira Mountains. His family is desperate to find him. I suspect he may be dead now. So I wanted to focus on him and see what I could get to come through. And when I did focus on him, I felt like the best thing to do was place myself with him and watch how the events played out. What happened on that last day in um, his life before he disappeared. And as I witnessed this through his eyes, I see myself leave the hotel and I start my training run. I have everything I need and I'm feeling really great as I start this run. I decide that I want to head into the forest and enjoy the scenery, the scenery because it feels to make the time more enjoyable and it was also a pretty good workout going up and down the different um, ground you know, changes or whatnot going through this forest here. I start my way in and the path I'm on feels a little rough. Typically running on the ground is nice and gives some cushion. But on this day, it just fell off, almost like it was either too dry or too wet. I don't know, the actual pounding of the ground felt like it was not the norm or maybe not what I was used to. I still go on thinking that the surface is going to change as I get into the shady areas, but then I start to notice that my left knee is a little off and feeling sore. I couldn't quite figure out why, but I assume it has to do with the terrain and I feel I can run through it. I just need to push through and I will get through this. In a moment's notice, I realize that the deeper I get into this, I find myself distracted by my knee and I start to feel a little concerned and try to alter my cadence and also how I plant my feet. It feels to help and I keep going. So I was feeling I was off and I was trying to make adjustments to my running because I didn't want an injury, but I wanted to still be able to keep going. And then I realize out of what felt like nowhere, I stumble upon an animal. I was trying to decide if I should run if I should stay still or what to do and my instinct was to run and try to climb something and mind you this animal was like a cat some kind of like a wild cat I see a tree that's about 20 feet away from me and instinctually I was in this flight or fight and I just start running for this tree and then I did so I started to climb it and then I felt this tear at my leg it was on my left leg that I felt it so I hold on as long as I can but the force was incredible the strength and just the sheer just yanking was outrageous and after that, I felt that I, I could just feel this ripping, like I was being ripped from this tree, like a rag doll, almost like my strength was no comparison to what was going on. And in that moment, everything, it went completely silent. I was still trying to fight, but I also realized that this fight, I may not win. And I still just determined that I was going to keep trying though. And it was as my vision was just honed in and slowly focused on this cat. I felt no pain, just pure fight within me. It was like, I didn't feel anything. All I was doing was focused on trying to survive. Things then just went dark. I think, or I felt like I passed out and it was either from exhaustion or blood loss. I'm not sure how long I was out, but then the next thing I realized is I see myself floating above my body and looking down. And what I witnessed, it felt horrific to see, but at the same time, it didn't feel real. I didn't understand what I was seeing or what was going on. It was like I was watching a movie. I didn't know what I was seeing and it was incredibly confusing. I was then met by a young man that felt like a brother to me. It just felt like so much love and so much comfort and so much warmth coming from this being that I saw. And he was there to meet and guide me. Um, he helped me to realize I was in spirit and I was transitioning. Even though I was still very confused, it was like he was there to help me along the way or helped me to understand what was happening um, with me personally. And at this point, this feels more like a recovery of the situation um, versus a search and rescue kind of scenario. But even that will be a challenge because I get that the cat carried off the remains. And I hate to even say that out loud because I know there's possibly loved ones out there listening to this. Um, so all in all, my deepest regard to this family that is seeking answers and closure, and I'm so sorry. And so love and light be with them. Uh, again, um, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. And if there's anything I can do, if anybody out here is related or knows anything about this and I can be of assistance, please just let me know. 
And for now, I'm going to close. Thank you and good night.